Hey guys, what is up? This is Dano Toast, and today I am back with a special video. Now, one of my subscribers has actually asked me to make a video on how to edit. Now, I'm not the greatest editor, as you can see by my videos, but a lot of you have asked me what program I use, and I've actually got it yourself, and so I thought I might as well teach you how to use it. Basically, I'm just going to try and teach you the basics in this video, as I don't know much specifics and special effects and things like that. So shout out to Shamar Saul for the recommendation. His link to his channel is in the description below. Make sure to check him out and subscribe. And so hopefully I can teach you the basics, how to use this program, basically what this program does, where to get the program. And hopefully by the end of this, we can actually make our very own short little vid using the effects and the tricks that I teach you. So let's go. Okay, so basically, I have Camtasia Studio 7, but I also recommend number 8, so you can get a free trial. Overall, they look pretty much the same. It's probably just a little minor changes. These things should be the same, and it should work the same and have the same function, so it should be fine. Okay, so first things first, on the right, you see this little player. This is where it will show your clips when you play it over, or any images or anything, or even audio. This is where you play. You can press play, rewind forward wherever it is and this is basically where you preview the edit with all the effects and everything on it here at the bottom is basically your timeline where you put your clips audio images effects wherever you put on there and you can always edit. this is where you basically edit the video down at the bottom here and up here on the left is basically where there are several options here to add effects but First, I want to talk about the very first thing here, which is a clip bin. And there you go, it has information there. This is basically where you import all your images, videos, audio into this. And in order to do that, you go to File, Import Media, and you enter there. Now, yes, that is Justin Bieber, and this will come in later. But I've just imported my video and my image. I could also import other ones to show you. I'll do that right now. Okay, just to show you, it can also upload audio clips. These are just some music free from YouTube that you can actually get yourself. And some of them are sound effects like this one. And this one. Thank you, thank you. So basically, these are different effects that you can find free on the internet somewhere. And these are some actual songs that come from YouTube royalty free that you can use on any of these videos and it won't get flagged. So as you can see, when I click that, it actually showed here on the screen, the actual audio, and I clicked here to press play. Okay, next thing is the library. This is basically, this actually came with Camtasia Studios. So you also have royalty-free music here that you can use as well. And it has some weird effects. I don't really use them. Don't really recommend them. They really look weird. Well, actually, that one looks pretty nice. So next, I have here voice narration. You can actually change the input level. This is basically where you can record your voice over a clip if you actually didn't record previously or you want to do a voiceover. So basically, some of my videos like Jumpstreet Gold Post 4, when I was doing the summary of what happened, I used this to put my voice in after the fact. And here are some more effects, title clips, which we are going to use and I'm actually going to start off with. So I'm actually going to start off here, add title clip, then you change it to... 1280 by 720 just to make the best quality make it widescreen and you can see here as I click that it went down here to my timeline and this is basically where all the magic happens if you guys want to make the title to appear for a longer period of time just go to the edge you'll see it change click and then drag it to make it longer make it shorter whatever you want this is how you adjust if you want to, let's say you lost it, you click somewhere else and you're like, oh no, I, how, how do I edit the clip? Just double click it, it'll go back. Yeah, or you can right click it, edit title clip brings you back here. So basically, change the font, do what you want. Beautiful. So now, I don't know how long that should last. Let's say six seconds. As you see, I adjusted it here. Play from the beginning to see how it looks. And it just shows up like that. That's the title clip we usually make the title of the intro or the outro, whatever it is. I don't usually use it at the beginning. Sometimes I put it in between. Okay, so this is where our next part's gonna come up is basically 
we're going to put this picture of Justin Bieber onto the screen. And so basically this, I dropped it onto the timeline and this is basically how it looks. Now, a lot of you may be like, uh, I don't really like how the image is positioned. It's not really full. It's not really showing close up, whatever it may be. And this is where our next, our next effect comes in is actually the zoom in pan. This is basically where you get to zoom in on things. Basically add a keyframe gives you this little diamond down here. Basically it's the same thing as this title clip where you double click to edit that you would double click this to bring back the title clip. Now to make sure it zooms in to make it more full on the screen, just drag here and drag here to make it look more full. You can also zoom in a bit more. And then also, I never told you this, but if you guys want a better view, you can also drag this down to make it bigger. Or if you want a better view of your timeline, drag it up. Or if you want to just make sure that the whole screen is full, go over here, click this button, and it'll give you full screen. Our next effect that I want to show you is the callouts. And this is where a lot of my effects come in. You basically have, you can have all these different things like arrows pointing at his head. So if you don't want it, click remove call out. It'll just remove it. There's different shapes here. And then there's also here text. And this is image. Basically, we dragged the picture just to be onto the timeline. But if you don't want to do that, you could have just clicked load image. And we could have just pasted it here. This way you can actually drag him around, move him where you want it to be. You can actually reposition it easy like this and can go over any other video that you want instead of it being stationary. So I can't drag the background, but I could drag this part. Now, basically what I want to do is I want to put text and basically it's the same thing as the picture. Just put the font you want and then make sure one thing to note, see how the box is really huge. If the box is sticking out of the boundaries as it is now, sometimes it won't finish the uh, it won't produce the video it'll say some things are out of bounds so make sure if anything always make it short enough so that it doesn't stick out for example that's sticking out it will not work if you keep it like this it's fine so basically where do i position this beautiful so now we have our call out but we don't but we got to position it where it needs to be so down here you can see it says text call out one and it has these little slants Basically what the slant means is that it fade in and fade out over here. Usually I just take those out. If you want to put them in, as I'll show you, this is what it looks like. It fades in a little bit and then fades out. So basically now we got two things on there. Those are the main effects that I actually use. There's also here transitions. Wow. Oh, I didn't even know there's transitions like this, although they sort of look cheap. Wow, that's really cheap. Okay, something that I didn't mention is that if you want something that you'll use in most of your videos, whether it be an, a, a video clip, an audio clip, an image, whatever it may be, make sure to import it into the library. What this will do is basically it'll keep it there every time you open up Camtasia Studio, and that way you can always implement it. Okay, next we're going to bring in an actual video clip, which is going to happen after this, after this picture. And as you can see, when I put a video, there are actually three, I guess you could call it bars or lines here. So basically this is the video. This is basically if you record your voice over, I didn't record my voice. That's why it's basically um, a straight line because there is no audio. This is where your voice will go. And at the bottom here, is what the actual program will pick up from your screen. So if you're actually recording a game, this will be the game sound. If you're recording a video, this will be the video sound. As you can see, when I click it, it highlights both of these. Now, in order to take this out, you go over here to where it has this blue circle, click it. It says, do you want to unlink? Press a yes. And now you can drag these separately. So basically you don't need that, we can delete that. What's the point of having the beginning part and the ending part, which is what you see on the screen here, because that has nothing to do with the video and I want to take it out. How do you do this? There's actually two different methods. One of them I recommend. One of the ways is to basically drag this to where the video clip starts. 
Okay, about here. Now there's two methods here. Okay, so once we're here, the best technique I say is to go here where it has the green and the red squares. Basically what this allows you to do is to click it and to drag over the area that you don't want. Okay, so basically we don't need the rest of this, so there's also an option to use this fantastic button right over here. And it's basically the split, which allows you, when I click it, as you can see, to split it in half so you can separate the two and move them separate of each other. And another method is to delete it, is basically just to do as I said before, delete it. But this method takes a lot longer, but it has the same effect. And also this beautiful thing here, which will come in handy for sure. This is basically allows you to zoom in on the timeline or to zoom out to see it as a different view. What this allows you to do is to zoom in really close. And let's say here, there's a real, you want to get a specific part where he's moving or where he's saying something or doing something. Let's see, right when he starts raising his hands, this allows you to stop right there and then it'll play him raising his hands. Now, one thing about audio, as you can see over here, it says audio. You can click audio or you could double click the actual audio to actually open this up. This, what this allows you to do is actually allows you to adjust the level. So if you want to click here where it turns red, drag up, it'll actually make the, the video's audio louder. Or if you want to drag it all the way down, it will reduce. As you can tell, you can barely see the line. Okay, so let's say this is the finished product, which it is and you want to finish producing your um, your video, you basically go to File, Produce and Share, and there's a couple of options that you would want. There's also, there's a Share to YouTube feature, which I never used. I don't know if you guys want to use it, you can try it out. I don't really know much about it, but I suggest either HD or Custom. Choose any of these formats. I usually just use Windows Media Video. Go Next. Go next, go next. I don't really change these. You could change them if you want, but I don't really change them. And then here allows you to change where you're gonna save the file. And then you press finish. Once you're done rendering the project, it'll actually open this up. It'll tell you how long the video was and how what the size was, the different things here. You press finish. All right, so right now I'm actually gonna play the video, how it looks after you rendered it. And this is basically how it will look Uploading to YouTube after you have edited it. Enjoy. The story of the most beautiful girl in the world. Justin Bieber! Ha! Gay! What'd you say? 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 You want to fucking beat the fuck out of you. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of tutorial. I want to know what you guys think. Did I do something here? Maybe that wasn't as quick. That There's a shortcut to it. Let me know. So we can all learn from it. Make sure to leave a comment down below letting me know and letting everyone else know so that those who are new to the program can actually learn. And also, if you guys have any questions, maybe I went through something too quick or I didn't explain it well, ask me. And I'll definitely do my best to explain it to you. If you guys want another editing video or to edit another video or if you want me to continue this story and explain what happens more with Justin Bieber... <laughs> probably not but if you guys want it make sure to, to leave a comment down below and once again honestly i want to thank shamar Sal who actually suggested this idea i think it was cool let me know what other games you guys want me to play what websites you want me to check that have cool games you guys want me to play maybe weird games and definitely will try and play them thank you guys once again for watching make sure to subscribe follow me on twitter facebook and google plus the links to my pages are in the description below so check them out follow me and as well, the link to the download of the Camtasia Studio 8 free trial is in the description below as well. So make sure, if you guys thought this was a cool program, then make sure to check it out. And as always, until next time, take care. Hey guys, hey guys, this is Dano Toast. And today, I'm, and today, and today I'm bringing you Jumpers for GoPost 4 series.